Hey there awesome and amazing people, my name is Susonis and welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival on our private service. So finally a new video for me and sadly enough my voice is still not that great but I've been sick for a week and uh, yeah now I feel a little bit better so it is time to make a video for you. And I found a high level bear so I'm gonna tame this one up, then we have a fiber gatherer and then we have all the creatures that we need to gather resources with. And then it is time to build a base that you have seen in the thumbnail. So let's go! If you want to join this adventure as well, you're more than welcome to join us through me or through other content creators because this server is combined with other content creators like GGFace, JPlace Games and other awesome and amazing people. All you need to do is become a Patreon supporter, a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber. It's all up to you and then you can join and start the adventure over here as well. Alright, I called the bear Wasnit. I hope I pronounced it correctly. This is a name suggestion on the naming list for one of the Patreon supporters, so it is their reward. And the health of this one is about 500 health, 1000 stamina, it has 1000 weight, and it has melee damage of 144%, and this is a beast with fiber gathering, as you can see right over here. Oh my god, this is just insane. So it is really awesome to have this one. And right over here on this small uh, kind of island thingy, I want to build something. I think I'm done with placing the foundation. And uh, yeah, a tip for if you want to do something uh, different than a box, then don't place foundations like a box. So I made a challenge for myself. And as you can see, I cut off some corners. And over here I had another challenge. And I'm not really happy about it. And this part uh, could be different, like for example like this, but then I have the gap that I have over here, I'm gonna have that over here. So, yeah, for now I think I'm gonna remove this wood stuff, and then we're gonna work with this stone circle over here. And yet this is about the shape that uh, the building is going to get. Those wooden foundations that you see on the left, those four, um, they are not part of the building, so it is just a stone. Yeah, I got myself uh, some pillars. Because I want to have a roof up here and then we need pillars or at least we need something to support it. But as you can see we cannot place any pillars here on the corner. Okay I saw a video of the pilgrim project and uh, he has also a nice trick. And it is also with Fence Foundation. Maybe DGFizz did the same. If you don't know these content creators the links are in the description. So place a Fence Foundation and uh, yeah normally you could place it like this. On the side and it snaps to the side but somehow uh, it says obstructed but as you can see here right over here it will create an extra snap point right over there so look to the fence foundation and then you can place it isn't that lovely and uh, since i'm working in a circle i need to uh, place fence foundations all the way around and if you work in a straight line uh, then you can just uh, snap the pillars next to each other well, I just found out that uh, the fence foundations don't have any snap points with triangle foundations, but they only have snap points with the square foundations. So that makes it a little bit more trickier for me, because this one is a triangle, and of course I uh, need to have them over here as well. And now I used wood, but I think I'm gonna turn them into stone. Okay, let's see if this will work. I got myself a foundation, so we're gonna put that right over there. I'm gonna pick this one up. I'm gonna use the fence foundation. Yes, and that should give me a snap point right over there. Yes, then I quickly pick this one up. Pick that one up. No! Why? It was right in the... Okay, um, I'm gonna deal with this later. Uh, for now, this is how it is. And uh, right over here, I wanna start with railings. So we're gonna start with placing them. Okay, since uh, we need to have a roof over here. But yeah, they snap to walls and not to pillars and that kind of things. So uh, yeah, that, that's why I have this solution. So what I did over here is uh, the following thing. So first off, you need to uh, place the pillar higher, otherwise it is going to be obstructed. See, Louis, so many issues. Okay, and that one. And we're gonna place. Uh, I saw you right over there. Remove this one. Remove this one, and now they stay. It's a miracle. <laughs> 
And uh, we can already select vertical. And now you need, need to be... Come on. Connected to that one. Yes. Then we're going to select the half walls. Or first the railings. Yes. So we have the railing over there. And we don't want to have anything over there. But we want to have it higher. So that is going to be the half wall. I'm going to press E. To turn. And this is how it looks now. So we have wood on the inside. Uh, wood on the outside I mean. <laughs> and the plaster stuff on the inside. So triangle. The nice... Uh, dang it. I want to say the nice thing is uh, they snap to each other. So that makes it a lot easier. Uh, yes. And then we want to have a normal one again. Okay, I figured out how to uh, put the walls up there. So uh, what you need to do is uh, we're going to first place the railing. And uh, then we're going to... Can we, we can place the railing, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to do the half wall, turn around, okay, and then we can pick the railing up, and it is floating, and now it snaps. I think I got a solution on how to get the pillar right over here on this corner, because over here we're going to have the triangle, and uh, yeah, we couldn't snap anything over here. So what I did is I uh, destroyed this foundation, and what we're going to do is we're going to hide a fence foundation underneath it. So this should be the one, if I'm correct. And yes, there we can place the stone pillar. Now we need to uh, seal it off. So we're gonna place that one right over there. And I have some walls. And it is not the uh, nicest solution. And why is it not the nicest solution? Because of this part over here, it is so ugly. Okie dokie, this small part is finished now and I have to do uh, one little thing and that is uh, I had to have a, a fence foundation right over here otherwise this pillar uh, wouldn't stay and also otherwise I couldn't place all the stuff up here so this is all now connected to this fence foundation. I didn't know that earlier so earlier I removed <laughs> the fence foundations and then everything collapsed so uh, this is how it is going to be. Maybe... Is that, is that looking nice? I don't know, maybe it is nice to, uh, to have railings up there. Alright, a day later and I changed it up a little bit. So I removed the wood over here because I want to have a fireplace. And uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense to put fire on wood. So I, I made stone stairs so you can sit to the fire or you can sit uh, looking to the outside and uh, enjoy the scenery. But it is time to put up some walls over here. And uh, let's make a window over there. And I, uh, oh yeah, the entrance. Where should the entrance be? I think I'm gonna make it right over here, right in front of us. So that should be a door frame like that. Yeah, I think that is that is nice. And then we can uh, fence that off a little bit. So we have a funky shape. I placed some walls down and over here I didn't place them all the way uh, as the shape of the foundations. As you can see right over here. So over here I wanna have some uh, railings as well. And then a stair down to the docks. And uh, I wanna have a stair down over here as well. Okay, over here uh, on the side, I already started a little bit with the outside. So railings, stair with railing putting down, pillar going up, like we did uh, all the way over there as well. And this time uh, it uh, wanted to stay over here, and this one didn't want to stay, so I uh, placed a fence foundation inside of the foundation. Do we want it like this? Uh, do we want it like that? And I think I want it like this side over here, like the left side. Okay, slowly but slowly, I'm uh, trying to figure out what I want and uh, I'm not sure what I want. I put the stairs down here, so I think I'm gonna make some uh, stair tower or something right over here. But it feels like I need to uh, look to the outside over here and I need to uh, go to the outside over here. So let's remove this. And it is already an outcrop, as you can see uh, from the rest of the building. But uh, let's make it uh, a little bit more special. So we're gonna change this one turn and over there we're gonna make a doorway also turn and then we should have a ceiling part yes so ceiling right over here and then we're gonna put ceilings right over here as well so we have a small balcony over here i think that will be cool but this looks a little bit weird so what we can do is place pillar down 
but I don't think I want that. And there is another option that we might be able to do, and that is a roof doorway. Let's go for the wood look on the outside. Uh, where did that one place? Of course, at the bottom. We can leave it hanging like this, but I really want to try uh, to put the door race. Oh, I think I saw him for a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Like this. Yes. All right. And then like that one over there as well. Yes, I think this, this will look cool. Uh, oh, wrong way. But yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, I've been working a little bit off camera again. And uh, you can see the progress over here. Just place some walls, some roofs. And I think, like we have a balcony over here. I want to have that on this side as well. So uh, that will be right over here, above here. I think we're gonna do that and yes yeah, slowly need to uh, close things off I don't want to have everything just as uh, one wall high so over here it will be a little bit higher okay so we have a little outcrop now and now it is time uh, to put those beams beneath it no no oh my god okay standing underneath it Yes, all right, so maybe that is the trick. Standing under it. So standing under it, facing up, and they place. Okay, so uh, that is the trick to do it. <laughs> maybe we're gonna place an extra ceiling here. Let's see. Can it work? I think it can work. Okay, fiddling around even more. I uh, made some kind of a, a staircase over here, a little balcony flat area on this side, and uh, that breaks it up. And I decided to place half walls like this, so the wooden side on the outside, so it breaks it up, otherwise it is so uh, wide and uh, flat. And this side over here, I changed it up a little bit as well, the entrance area on this side. So I made a small roof over there. So stone over there and then wood and uh, then if we look around I'm gonna continue on with the half walls up there and uh, then it is time to make the roof and on the inside well it is a uh, <laughs> one big open space so uh, I really need to uh, take care of that and uh, need to fill it up but that will be uh, of course later in the video and over here I, I play some uh, wooden catwalks like this so it breaks it up also a little bit. So yeah, time to continue on placing those half walls. So I decided to change things up a little bit more uh, once again. So on the bottom part I'm gonna use uh, stone roofs. I think that suits better for uh, the stone bottom part. And then that means that I think I need to uh, replace those for stone then as well. Okay, so the roof part... Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy how it is now, so I was thinking... Um, uh, in arc we can place ceilings in the middle of a wall but over here we cannot do that so what we then need to do is uh, place another one so then we have it like this and then the other one would be on a half wall but of course we are a half wall higher so we need no <laughs> why 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 then we're gonna place a ceiling and then we should be able to pick this up, pick, oh, I was too late. <laughs> and then we can destroy these. And then we can put it like that. Yes, okay, we are up here now. So, uh, yeah, I think this will be better. So, even if we get this one done, yes. Move that one. All right. Put that one right over there. Put that one right over there. And that, now let's see how this will look. I think this this looks a little bit better. The overhang. 
think that looks better than uh, without the overhang. So we're gonna go for an overhang. Okay, the roof is uh, almost done. And uh, with almost, I mean, I placed half walls on those uh, ceilings that are half on the wall. And why is that? Well, then I'm gonna place ceilings right over here. I need to place half walls around again. Uh, they, they stick through a little bit though. So uh, that's, a sh Ooh, uh, that's a shame, but uh, that's also fine. And what I want to do on the roof is place place those reservoirs. Okay, I need to line it up, of course, but uh, I'm going to place them on the roof over here. So uh, rain can be collected and then we have also uh, water. All right, so most of the structure is now ready and now it's time to decorate the stuff. And I think we're going to start off with the kitchen and uh, we're going to put a half wall here turn it around yes 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 like this so it is wood on this side and, and then we need one over here as well so this will be a little bit fiddly turn it around again and one more yeah just like this so you have an area to go in maybe i need to remove this one over here and we're gonna put tables uh, oh I can only put one in. Um, well, I'm gonna continue on decorating and uh, once I'm done decorating, I will be back at you and uh, show you the whole place around. Well, the sun is rising and it is time to check out the house. So I know this hasn't been a full tutorial on how to build a house, but I think you can get it if you watch the video. So we have feeding crow over here, uh, we have dummy, we have chest over there. Why chest over there? I don't know. <laughs> and this is the inside. And with the inside, with the chairs, they need to be uh, really far away from the table. Like this one. Uh, this is the distance that you need from the, uh, from the table. And, oh, it doesn't really make sense to me if I sit over here. It is so far away from the table. Jeez Louise. <laughs> but at least uh, we have some chairs. And it is so nice with the mortar and pestle uh, that they have some extra stuff on it. So it looks a little bit like uh, the dishes. Uh, I put an extra box up there on the catwalk, uh, a box over there, a dummy, and the kitchen area. It has been changed as you can see over here. So I placed half walls and I placed pillars over here. And how did I place the pillars? Well, just like the same as on the outside with fence foundation. And over here is a fence foundation. And uh, that makes the snap point for this one over there and for this one over here as well. So uh, they are holding the place up. I think it looks good. I wonder what, what you think of it. So over here we have the food larder and, and some resources. So I, I was thinking, well, if I stand over here, grab the stuff, go over here, I, I, I'm gonna cut what, what the bread or what, whatever. I'm gonna cook the stuff up and then, uh, yeah, you can place it up here and from up here, uh, you can place it down there, for example, whatever you want. So the fire pit, let's light it up. We have a fire pit with some chairs around it. I think you can nicely sit here and uh, yeah, hang out, have some marshmallows or wh whatever, whatever you want to do, <laughs> burn your butt. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks on the inside. So it is a really still a big open place and not exactly how I want it to be, but it is fine. So here we have some chests, here again a catwalk and uh, now with mortar and pestle on it. A little crafting area, a resource box and uh, some more boxes here if we go to the outside over here well here we're gonna get the docks we have a chair and a chest over here as well and if we walk around it this is how it looks on the outside and you can still see the fire on that side so crest, uh, crest test dummy i want to say <laughs> a dummy over there the torches over here so you can light them up over here as well just all what you want they are very bright though oh yeah a box on the stairs we're gonna walk up, if we come over here we have a small balcony, you can sit here and relax. And this is how it looks upstairs. And I made a small bedroom over here. So this is now closed off, it is 2x2. Two two. As you can see, two beds, some boxes, not really that fancy. But uh, that's how I did it. And uh, yeah, here we have even more storage space. And we can walk up here, also a small balcony thingy. And nicely have a few on that side of the building then we're gonna go up we're gonna go up over here and over here we also have a balcony and now you can uh, nicely look at the ocean an ocean view some storage and some extra storage over here and of course we need to get upstairs as well 
onto the roof because on the roof we have the water reservoirs <laughs> and it is coming out into the kitchen and uh, sadly enough yeah here we have a box for maintenance uh, or something i don't know and you have a nice view but uh let's go down and uh here you can see the pipes uh and and yes yeah, sadly enough <laughs> they are a little bit higher because i have them uh one half wall higher than the normal half wall uh, they snap now one wall higher than normally so it would be either up there or onto the floor and that's the same in the kitchen area so in the kitchen area it is now also a shower <laughs> i know it doesn't make sense but if i make the roof uh yeah one half wall higher again and just make it flat uh, with, with the surface then yeah, i don't know then then it looks weird but then uh the tap would be right over here uh, but now it is right up there i now also noticed that i forgot to show you something upstairs so let's go up and that's this small space over here so i placed two catwalks just against the wall over here and then uh three boxes on it just for some extra decoration and i think it breaks up the wall over there nicely and if you want to build something like this over here just place a half wall and then place railings and i did the same thing over here half wall railings a pillar a pillar that is stepped to the pillar that we have on the outside and over here a catwalk and uh, then just some things on it and uh, yeah you can decorate the place nicely just the way you want to have it Oh yeah, and over here I placed railings. I, I thought, well, maybe close it all off, but I think I like the open design. So uh, the railings over here go flow into these railings and the wall flows into that wall. Oh yeah, and over here I placed, uh, the, uh, what are they called? Gun ports? Gun mount. Wood swivel gun mount. I placed them on the, on the ends over there. I think we have done a pretty nice job with building it. And uh, I wonder, what do you think of this building? And uh, do you like the design? And I know, like I said before, the video is not a full tutorial on how to build a base like this. But it is just to show you what is possible. And uh, yeah, if you want to have something funky, just don't uh, make a square foundation. Just leave some parts out and uh, yeah, then you need to get creative and uh, do stuff like this. So I, I think with watching the video, you already know how the layout is and uh, how to uh, make most of this. And then it is just some imagination for yourself and then you can enjoy the view or something like this as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have any thoughts about this video, all of them in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already once you bought in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Bye-bye!